Let me get some of that pizza. I'm hungry. What is going on everybody? It's Saturday, I'm down here in Delaware. I'm visiting a little place called the Comic Book Shop, as you can see right there across the parking lot. I'm actually waiting on somebody else. I'm waiting for a friend of the channel to show up. Uh, Curtis also goes by Comics1017 on Instagram and YouTube. And those of you who are in our live streams, you probably have talked with Curtis. He's usually in there commenting and his Instagram is really cool. It's got a lot of really cool collection photos of like his turtles. He's got a really, really good turtles collection. He's got a couple figures for me. So we agreed to meet up and just it so happens that today the store is redoing their figure wall. So I was like, yeah, dude, I'll come down there. You know, we'll meet up. We'll see what the store is like. We'll see what their figure section is like. You know, of course I've never been here, so I don't really know what to expect. Hoping for some vintage turtles, maybe some wrestling figures, maybe some uh, vintage Kenner Lost World Jurassic Park. He's not too far out. He's about 10 minutes away at another target so he should be here any minute i don't think these guys will have a problem with me filming hopefully not you know of course we'll we'll make sure it's okay so yeah let's get in here and let's see what they have <laughs> here we go <laughs> so the first thing you see when you walk in some boxed sector stuff Look at that. They're all in pretty good shape, considering the age and boxes and everything. I always like that figure right there. I always thought that was an awesome figure. And there's some Centurions. Centurion walkie-talkies, to be specific. Cops. Box cop stuff. Cop cycle. Yeah. And then some Legend of Zelda Nintendo figures. And so the Danger Room is actually what they've opened up. Uh, they, that's what they've redone. So if this is any indication of what's in there, I think we're gonna find some pretty cool stuff. Quick little pan of the store when you first come in. Not a bad shop. It's almost like the perfect size for a comic and toy shop. This place, of course, has plenty of statues, if that is your thing. Some really nice ones as well. Kind of like the Moff Gideon one up there from Mandalorian. The Submariner. This gallery Joker is really nice. Captain America and Diamond one is really, really cool. And some life-size BB-8, Master Yoda, and Rocket Raccoon. We're heading into what's called the Danger Room. Really glad you're here, Nice job, nice job. Thank you, thank you. A little crowded, but let's see if we can find anything. Or check on the online stores. Like, guys, I'm sure you can buy it online, too. Sectors. You know, you can find. I also have the magic bands, like, the work bands. I got one. It was the one I got. I bought it down there. It wasn't that good. But I bet you it was a whole guy. You were the Beta Ray Bill statue is really nice. Who? Chewbacca. I, I saw that. They said from now on, like, this will be open. Yeah. For people to play. So, if they have, like, a 
We have a small video game selection here. Mortal Kombat 2, one of my favorite games of all time. I absolutely love that game. Or we can get the teams and girls how to play unmatched. <laughs> well, they can only play Alice or... Oh, that's Black Command Black Center boxed. We bought, I brought, I brought one of their games. So. I think it's actually one of the dinosaurs I'm looking for for uh, the Lost World. Let's see how much that is. I really wanted that fentanyl, but I couldn't get it. So where's all the cloth on my house now? Oh, okay. I organized it. Like, um, a mech. Yeah, same. I think also maybe the same. We're going to come here. We do have some vintage TMNT. Damn it. Quick look here, see if there's anything that jumps out that I have to grab immediately. Oh man, check this out. You guys are gonna love this. Look at this case. We got some Brave Star figures. Look at that. Some Rambo card. Coming down here, more boxed Brave Star stuff. And then check this out. Dinobots in box. 700 big ones. <laughs> wow. This is stuff you don't see very often. Like, I don't know how many times I've seen Brave Star at a store. Like, I, I barely ever see it. I don't think any of my stores have ever had anything Brave Star. So it's definitely... Really nice to see that. Yeah, this little room is dangerous. Okay, so I just learned something about these Transformers figures, and you guys probably picked it out already. This is Milton Bradley. It's not Hasbro. So apparently, these are German releases. Milton Bradley releases from Germany. Uh, that is cool. I did not know that these existed. I think that's a really nice find. And yeah, if you guys are into that, if you guys need these, definitely hit this place up. Mm. I, I need that, actually. Might be a, uh, might be a possibility there. Try to avoid this glare if I can. Oh, 
Oh boy, we have some of these wars. Mm. How much is that inferno? 150? Mm. I love the Beast Wars. That was technically my oh look original Red Trip. That was technically my first exposure to Transformers. The Royal Transformers Boys Beast Wars. I got that for Christmas one year. Love that. I still have my original. Silver Bolt. And I'll show you guys a better shot of the stuff that's up here. Bartering for <laughs> grains and chickens. rice. Chickens, oh yeah, chickens and goats. Live yeah. chickens and goats, yeah. Uh, uh, what are the two labels I had to make? What a, what a gorgeous one. I didn't use that as the actual phone. That's who the shops are. Wait, did, did we sell Johnny Lights? No, I think. Yes, for some reason. That's a great question. Duffy, do you know off the top of your head what series these guys are from? I feel like I'm not on your top of my head. They look good in Farm. Yeah, 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 they look all right guys so that was the comic book shop a really really nice uh, little store packed with a lot of really good vintage stuff as you guys saw uh we didn't pick anything up i just didn't really see anything that i needed uh but there were definitely some things that had me thinking this is a really good shop so like i said if you guys are in the area or if you want to make the trip uh, I'll put their information down below, their uh, Instagram. I'm sure they have a Facebook. I'll put that down below as well. Definitely check them out. Right now, we're going to head to a Target, the one that's at the Christiana Mall. Curtis already got a head start. He wanted to uh, get his stuff and get out. So we're going to head there, see if we can find anything, and then we'll wrap the video up. All right, we found them. There he is, Comics 1017. Looking <laughs> as beautiful as ever. <laughs> so start up. Oh, look at this. Must be a special Target edition. Yeah, he's AK. been hanging there for a while. So yeah. yeah. Surprised he doesn't have a little bit of dust on him. Yeah. Yeah. We're not even gonna waste the time here. It's probably everything that I have seen at my Target. Oh wow, they have another variant. That wasn't even here yesterday. Yeah, right there. And on sale too. Yeah. I already got that one for you. It's funny. There's so many Brad shawls that are actually on sale. I think someone's actually sending me one. Just usually how my luck goes. Well, like I said, I you know I saw that they were on sale yesterday, so I, I grabbed one for you on sale and returned the other one. It's good thinking too. Yeah, yeah. Why wouldn't I save you that you know ten bucks? I mean, you know. I'm a cheap bastard. Eh, well, hey. There's some plans right here. It's like you gotta save money where you can. Man, with the prices and stuff. You I know. Have to. Like I would love to get can. that new Boba Fett, but I'm not gonna get not it. Not for thirty five yeah. or thirty four dollars. I mean, and it's basically the same exact figure I already have. Yeah. It looks cool on the package, you know. Yeah. Exactly. But I can't believe how many of the Too Bad figures they have because Too Bad is a freaking amazing figure. He looks really good. Like, I have him. He, he just, he's incredible. But it's like, geez, even they have tons of him still. I don't, I don't get it. Yeah. Totally worth that price. Ooh, knocking things over now. <laughs> and they 
I got a Mechanic still. Yeah. This is where I picked up mine. I picked up my Mechanic here. And slim pickings for the turtles. Oh, yeah, but I've never seen the Triceraton. I kind of liked it. I just don't know if I, I get yeah, it. Yeah, I have it from the two pack. I I think it's a fun figure. It's a cool yeah. figure. Like for twenty bucks, I think he's worth it. Yeah, definitely. Because he can, you know, he can really kind of go with like the vintage playmate. He really, he really just can. Like a, a super size Triceraton. Yeah. So yeah, I think the Triceraton's cool. But yeah, the they did have the big ones over there at one at some point. The Leo and the Shredder, not. But not I hate so that cool. Shredder. I, hate, <laughs> I know, cannot awful, stand yeah. that Shredder. <laughs> I haven't seen these yet. I mean, I was kind of tempted to get it just for like the trench coat accessory. Yeah. You know, just for like that. But I that. don't know if that, the hat and trench coat, I'm not, I'm not sure if that's worth the 20 bucks. But. No, maybe <laughs> when that goes on clearance. Yeah, 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 it. there you go, yeah. Man, I'm really kind of thinking about the Triceraton. I like it. I mean, I really like mine. I mean, like I said, it's the exact same one from the two pack. And hey, if all you want is him. Hmm. I might put him down for now and maybe I'll think about it. Yeah. But I'm kind of like, I, you know, I'm going to kick myself if I don't get him. Knowing Target, I have no doubt that all this stuff will be on yeah. clearance in like two months anyway. I'll be hitting you up. Yo, oh, grab me all the Triceratons. <laughs> a big dinosaur army or something. Well, I, yeah, I'm tempted to get one and have, you know, two of them have a little bit of an army. Yeah, you could. So, yeah, so we'll see. Is this pig head new? I don't think I've seen this one yet. Oh, no, he's 40th? been out for a while. Maybe um, I did see him. But, yeah, so, I have I have a couple of him, and then they have this three-pack that, like, keeps it keeps going on clearance and then off clearance. This pig head has, like, metallic paint on him. So the, nice. the blue the blue and pink on this one's metallic, and that one is just like a matte. Oh, it is. Other than that, the figure is the same. Yeah. And it just this one has the metallic paint, and then this Sun Man has the uh, alternate head that everybody likes better. Oh, yeah, look at that. But, yeah, this Not one bad. on clearance for half off, and now it's back to regular price again. So I guess we gotta wait for it to go on clearance again. You don't have anything for this, for this aisle at all. I know, yeah. It, it, like I said, like when I was here, um, not this past Friday, but last Friday, like they had a lot of new stuff last Friday and it's just all gone and we're back down to the old stuff again. I mean, I guess it's a good thing if they did have it, it's all selling, that's that's a good thing. Yeah. But, and they have the new like Dungeons and Dragons stuff that I know nothing about. I don't think I've ever seen these ones though. I've seen the uh, animated ones recently. Right, yeah, those are like the new movie. Here's a wrestler. Oh, Bobby Lashley. <laughs> and then the, the cube Yeah, gelatinous thing. cube. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I just, I know nothing about D&D. &D. Same old legends that you out. see everywhere. These are supposedly showing up on clearance already. I saw somebody oh, really? get this for like 10 or 15 bucks. Oh. Let's see what this Delaware NECA section looks like. And, well, the Angus Young is new. I've seen him already, but not at a Target. Yeah, I'm still looking for the um, what's it, Hudson, the gargoyle. Oh, wait, what's this? I didn't realize they were doing this in a three pack. I just picked yeah, these up I, by themselves. I didn't realize it either. Yeah, are that's they the same exact figures, or? Yeah, yeah, they are. I kind of just want more just because of the box. <laughs> Nice, nice little display. Yeah, it's not bad. Like I said, I just picked these up by themselves, mm -hmm. and they sell Billy by himself. I did not oh, yeah, realize this came in a three-pack. They have them, yeah, the single ones are up there. Yeah, see right there. Mm -hmm. That's that's cool. I didn't even know that, that existed. And they had the new NECA uh, ALF figure, but I don't see it now. It looks like they're... Nah. It looks like it's gone. This I still have to pick up at some point, the 40th Creepshow figure. And I even have to get four of these because I have the Kessler Wolf, but I need the uh, Nightmare Demons. Oh, gotcha, yeah. Didn't even get those yet. I've seen the Kessler Wolf a couple times and I've passed. I'm like, I'm going to maybe wait. Oh, he's a pain to find. I actually want to get the Kessler Wolf just for a uh, custom project that I'm Oh, you could do, do a lot with that wolf. Well, because I, I just want the alternate head uh, for um, a custom. You can so even yeah, probably so get the, the Toon Terror. Version. Well, yeah. That's what I was thinking, but I, that one's a little bit too toony. I'm going for just like a regular kind of scary werewolf figure. Right. Yeah, that's the wolf to do it with. If you find yeah. that, definitely do that. Yeah, so it's just like I don't want to I don't want to pay full price for it when I really just kind of want the head. Alright, so as per Curtis's recommendation, we're gonna check out another target here on Kirkwood Highway. This is the prices corner area. And there's also a GameStop across the way. So I don't know, maybe we'll hit that next, but let's go in here and see what they have. It looks like this is where your Marvel Legends are. Not a whole lot going on. Uh, got some more down there. A lot of D&D figures. Nothing going on for Transformers. I 
don't think we've seen this yet. Python Patrol Cobra Viper. It's a neat figure. This is the aisle I'm looking for as this music blares right above me. Uh, let's see. Nope, nothing. Nah, nothing that we need. New Becky Lynch, I haven't seen this figure yet. Coming down to their neck of section. Looks pretty well stocked. And oh, we already found something we need. Curtis, thanks for the heads up, man. Found the Hudson Gargoyle. So we'll put him over there for a second. And check him out. It's another Hudson back there behind the Nightmare Spawn. A lot of the ET figures. And that's probably all that we're gonna see that we actually have to pick up. Batman figures, we don't need any of those. Nothing else. All right, let's check out this Hudson figure real quick. Yeah, he looks good. Looks pretty good to me. Chain app looks all right. Other head looks okay. Box is okay. He's gonna come out anyway, so it really doesn't matter what the box looks like. Yeah, all right. So we are leaving with something, so that's good. Another gargoyle to cross off the list. Um, I actually do want this, only because I want the other Toonie Terror that's in here. The red one, the red Elvira. But I'll get that when this thing's on clearance. I don't really need anything else in here honestly i mean they don't pro they probably don't have any sizes that are gonna fit me shirt wise so now that was a really fun trip i really need to start adding delaware to my list of places to hunt every so often because we had a really really good time what did you guys think about that comic shop it wasn't too bad right I had some really really cool stuff and unfortunately we didn't pick anything up but even though we didn't pick anything up there we did not come away empty handed. We picked up a couple of things from Comics 1017 and we grabbed one thing at Target, which you probably already know from the video. So let's turn the camera around and let's see what we picked up. First thing that we picked up was the new Hudson from NECA from Gargoyles. Another figure that I'm really happy to finally cross off the list. Looks really good. I'm sure you guys have seen this before, so I won't spend too much time talking about it. At this point, we're caught up on the Gargoyles, so now we just wait for the other releases. We have a couple of wrestling pickups. The first is the Molly Holly Chase figure. When he first said that he found this and asked me if I wanted it, I wasn't sure. I was kind of like, eh, I do want Molly Holly, but I don't really know that I need to chase. But then when he told me he got it for the sale price of 10 bucks, I was like, all right, whatever. I'll yeah, I'll take it. Why not? <laughs> right? I mean, we already have the Ken Shamrock chase. You know, maybe we can start a little WWE chase collection. I don't know. But I figure at the very least, I'll get it. I'll hang on to it. If I run across someone who needs it and they have something I want, we can trade. Um, or, you know what? We'll just open it up and I'll add it with my Hurricane Helms figure. Last pickup from Comics 1017 is the Walmart exclusive CM Punk in very, very, very good condition. It's very mint. My buddy J2H is actually sending me this also. But when he found it, I, I kind of figured, you know what? Okay, I'll have, I'll have two, because I don't have the CM Punk yet from AEW. So if anything, I'll keep one box, I'll open one. And uh, yeah, I can add a CM Punk to the collection. Like I said, this one's really mint, so this will probably be the one I keep in package. And then when I get my other one from J2H, maybe that'll be the one that I open up. Not a huge haul from Delaware, but some pretty cool pickups nonetheless. It was really cool meeting you, Curtis. I really appreciate you taking me around your area, showing me that comic shop. Uh, they definitely had a few pieces I wouldn't mind going back down and getting. And yeah, man, I'm definitely looking forward to doing this again with you. So keep in touch with me. And next time you are free, we'll definitely hunt again. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave some likes and comments down below. If you're local to that area, have you ever been to that shop? And uh, what are other places you can recommend? There is a toy store in Delaware that's really good also that I want to get back to. It's called They Are Action Figures. Last time I went there was before I started the channel. And I actually was filming the store because that was going to be a video I was going to do. Um, but it just never happened. But the store itself was good. So I'm really, really looking forward to going back there and seeing what they've done with the place. Because they've expanded and they've gotten a lot of new stock since then. If you guys enjoy toy hunting videos, consider subscribing to the channel. And turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And like always... Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Ah, I gotta get this for Zach Jack Dan.
I think he'll appreciate that. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, it's the um, limited edition autograph card version. Oh, it is the autograph card. Yeah, see? Man, yeah, Dan, yeah. I'm bring, I'm getting it for you, Dan. I'm shipping yeah. off tomorrow. 